This is the story of a boy from the Moroccan coastal city of El Jadida. A boy that has raced with and beaten the very best young racing drivers in the world, of which he is now one himself. This is the story of the mighty little Moroccan and an incredible racing season. His name is Suleiman Zanfari and this is his story. From the beautiful beaches of northern Africa to the west coast of Finland, could the contrast have been any greater? Yet that is exactly where Suleiman's story begins. Racing at the incredible Alahama circuit in the freezing cold of Finland. A first up podium in the Nordic Cup was a great result, but also crucially it was a chance to learn the circuit that would host the World Championships later in the year. And then the short trip to Sweden and another podium for Suleiman. Back on the European continent and next was the famous circuit of Genk and the Cap Grand Prix of Belgium. Racing for the Belgian VDK racing team, world champions in 2016. Le match, je l'ai connu en 2016. Il a, il a, il a vraiment fait une métamorphose physique parce qu'il était, euh, il était relativement, bah, il n'était pas encore taillé. Par contre, maintenant, physiquement, il est vraiment au top. C'est un pilote qui a une, énorme, une très, très grosse concentration, qui a une très grande faculté dans la course. Il a quand même fait 9e du championnat du monde l'année passée, qui est un très, très gros résultat. Et je pense que c'est le premier pilote euh, africain à faire un tel résultat, en tout cas dans un championnat du monde de karting. The karting is a very, very important school for, uh, for, uh, for all the drivers because uh, they give you the possibility to have a contact with, uh, with the mechanics, uh, to have access to the telemetry, to have uh, a relationship uh, with the uh, engine tuned, uh, and, uh, and uh, to understand step by step uh, what it means to, to make a setup or, or to feel when, when the mechanic makes uh, some change in the chassis. So is, uh, so, so important uh, to have this kind of school uh, uh, before to become a driver of cars. À l'histoire du karting, il y a eu de, beaucoup d'évolutions. Quand on voit dans le paddock, il y a des grosses structures, il y a beaucoup de techniciens. Mais à la base, c'est toujours resté la même chose. C'est un châssis formé de tubes, quatre roues, pas de suspension et puis pas d'embrayage, donc en prise directe sur la piste. Alors, le fait d'avoir gardé ça, c'est fait que le karting a gardé son authenticité. C'est-à-dire qu'il y a un gros travail des techniciens, même si la base est extrêmement simple, les réglages sont extrêmement complexes en fonction de la météo. Mais donc le karting est très simple de conception et très complexe à mettre en œuvre, avec un beaucoup de travail de détail qu'on a du mal à imaginer quand on n'est pas vraiment versé dans ce milieu. In the 209 Cosmic Cut, Suleiman stars on a track he loves, racing consistently in the top five in this world-class field. Back to Sweden, but this time it was for a European Championship race at the Christianstad circuit. Regarding the different countries who are participating in our championships, we have, I think at the moment, around about here, 37, 38 countries who are, where drivers are coming from. And uh, I think it's a good opportunity for those drivers uh, to, to get this kind of education in our championship. As we speak, we have uh, had uh, contact the last three years uh, with uh, Suleiman Sanfari as a driver. And uh, this year we started our project a few weeks ago with some races in Sweden. And uh, now we are here for the European Championship and uh, try to make a good job in this track. Was the tire 
experience we uh, from the truck from, from Vega. Vega. Yeah, yeah. We start to using from the the first new set of the tires. What we put was directly from Vega, just to not make any mistakes. Also, when I watch him to drive, no, honestly, he didn't make any mistakes. So I, uh, we need to help him and to understand what is wrong about. Him. Next on the calendar, a return to Genk in Belgium and a circuit that Suleiman knows well. Race director for the FIA is the highly respected Nigel Edwards, who has been in the sport since the 1970s. Here at Genk this weekend in the European Championships, juniors and seniors, we have people really from all over the world. Uh, and some of those guys that maybe they have uh, no races in their country, so they come to Europe maybe to get action in kart racing. For me and for them, I think it's an absolute, you know, what a, a, a wealth of experience they will gain, even by just coming to one race meeting, the way it's organised, what they have to do on the track, the preparation. To come here and gain that experience would be, uh, it would put them in a very good stead for the future. After racing the qualifying heats throughout the week, Suleiman starts on the seventh row of the grid for the final. The start is chaotic. Oh, Lawrence, come on! An intelligent drive, and Suleiman comes home in P10 after 19 laps against the best juniors in the world. Good. Now I happy. Oh, I make a good final. I make a good race. Top 10. Fantastic. Top 10 on hand. So obviously maybe one penalty. So ah, you make a good job. The next round of the European Championship took place at the world famous circuit in the south of Sweden. This would be a trying weekend. Like many drivers, Suleiman was afflicted with serious tyre problems, as his coach Davide explains. Well, like I said yesterday, it was really not under control the situation because Suleiman was always, always very quick on Wednesday and Thursday. And Friday, really, we made the session with the slick condition and it was quite fast before the quali. And then uh, I don't know really what happened during the qualification. The only things we have changed uh, uh, was the tyres. Unfortunately, we can believe something with the tyres not is not under control. And but this is the situation, and we need to to find something different to to, be, to give a better feeling to the driver for the for the race. We're a team just of RGMMC staff in excess of 20 here. We control all the timing systems, the media, the hospitalities and the general organization of the event together with the local organizer and the FIA and CIK staff. Then it's the Moroccan talent, Suleiman Zanfari, now at Ward Racing and looking faster than ever. To the championship back once again. You excited? With the final turn, the engine revs rise. Are we going to get a clean start? This time we do, and away we go. Cracking start from the inside line, Bedrin. At the start, Suleiman keeps out of trouble and starts to charge, picking off his challenges one by one. He crosses the line inside the top 10. In fact, he finishes an outstanding P8. A fantastic fight back considering the problems earlier in the week. 
I can see he pushed really hard and he was very determined at the beginning of the race. And he really won't make a good final, he won a good result and at the end he, he done. So what say? Thanks to, to everybody, but first thanks to the driver because he gave me emotion, a big emotion in the final. Next, the most famous race circuit in the world, Le Mans in France. So we are here in France, exactly we are in Le Mans for the Le Mans circuit, the Alain Pro circuit, for the last round of the European Championship of KG in and OK. We, we want to do a good race like the previous race in Christiansstad and in Genk, where Suleiman always finished in the top 10. And so we'll see what can happen. en contact avec une maison d'édition marocaine euh, qui m'a demandé de faire un, un livre sur Suleiman Zanfari hein, euh, avec euh, un point de vue un petit peu différent de celui des spécialistes euh, du karting hein, en amenant euh, ma connaissance des autres sports et, et un regard un peu différent euh, sur lui. Ce qui me frappe de manière évidente euh, autour de moi, c'est euh, tout de même le professionnalisme du truc. Hein. Euh, c'est tous ces jeunes qui ont 13, 14, 15 ans, euh, entourés d'une armée de, de, de mécanos, un analyste de données, euh, euh, un coach euh, pour chaque pilote. Donc ça, c'est vraiment la première chose qui me, qui me saute aux yeux. World Kart Racing is an incredibly professional and high level sport. And the people watching may surprise you, including Gwen Lagru of the AMG Mercedes F1 team. Donc je suis Gwen Lagru, je suis en charge du programme pilote chez Mercedes AMG F1 Team et j'ai la chance de m'occuper de jeunes garçons du karting jusqu'à la Formule 1. En tant qu'équipe et programme jeune, ce qui est très important, c'est d'arriver à détecter relativement tôt des jeunes pilotes. Donc on vient au niveau international en karting et être présent sur des courses comme ce week-end au championnat d'Europe de karting au Mans, c'est extrêmement important. Quand vous êtes à part, vous trouvez toujours les solutions pour aller au plus haut niveau que ce soit pour passer du karting à la monoplace euh, et dans les différentes étapes de la monoplace ou vous positionner pour un choix de carrière et s'affirmer dans un choix de carrière. Et les garçons, et j'en connais de nombreux, qui veulent vraiment réussir, ils trouvent toujours une solution pour y arriver. Before we race in Le Mans, let's catch up with what happened in the meantime. The circuit in Sweden, which you are probably now familiar with, also hosted the Swedish Championship. And it was here that Suleiman went from being a top 10 driver to number one, winning the national title with an incredible pass for victory. Uh, Suleiman Zanfari from Morocco. Suleiman Zanfari! Stinger, top can I listen? Yeah! The Moroccan flag flying high in Scandinavia. Back at Le Mans and well, it would be one of those weekends, which from time to time simply happen in the world of sport. A DNF, pouring rain and unfortunately, this one would be a week to forget. In motorsport, we have always track sets. You can never have always a good week. Exactly, so we need to take the positive things of the day uh, to work for tomorrow and for the future of the day. Do you remember at the start of the season when Suleiman traveled from his home in the Moroccan sunshine to race in the freezing Finland winter? A race that netted a podium, sure, but also providing valuable testing data for this, the World Kart Racing Championship held at the Alahama circuit, just 300 kilometers from the Arctic Circle. We are working very hard and, and for sure the adrenaline and the emotions are a little bit different and a little more than the European Championship because our championship is always uh, something really, really special to live. We 
would say uh, it's a great to be here talking to you from everybody from uh, Morocco, a place that uh, I love it. And uh, uh, for sure, I mean, I think this event is very important to, um, you know, it's the most important event of the karting, the best drivers in the world. And I think that's very important to teach the, the, the drivers to learn things in the right way, uh, you know, uh, to race in the right categories, you know, to, to get experience for maybe one day these drivers can be in the professional cars, professional career, like Formula One, like many, many other championships. So here we have one uh, uh, Morocco driver, uh, Soliman. So good luck, all the best, and I really hope we can do a good experience and a good result here in the World Championship in Finland. joué notre partie. On a fait quatrième du groupe, c'est pas mal. At the end of the European summer, the weather was always going to play havoc in this part of the world. The previous year, Suleiman finished ninth in the world title race. But this year it was not to be. In front of a massive crowd, the race broadcast worldwide live on TV. In the pouring rain, Suleiman was caught up in an accident and was out of the biggest race of the year. The World Championship ultimately won by the Dutch driver, Thomas Tembrinke. Finally, it was time to go home. Well, almost. To a place that felt a little more like home than Scandinavia. This is Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. سباق الأوفليت هو أكبر سباق للكارتينج في في المنطقة أعتقد في دولة الإمارات وكذلك في منطقة الشرق الأوسط لأنها تضم كل الفئات سواء من البامبينو لين الكبار يعني فالحمد لله البطولة قاعدة تنمو كل سنة. وهذه هي طبعا الاساس لرياضه السيارات تبدا من الكارتينج ومن ثم تتطور الى السيارات Unfortunately despite being one of the fittest drivers on the grid a travel bug had caught up with our Moroccan star or rather he had caught the bug Aujourd'hui, j'ai fait trois hits. J'ai fait la première manche, toutes les manches parties deuxième, j'ai fait deuxième. La, la deuxième manche, après un mauvais départ, j'étais vite, j'ai eu le pare-choc, j'ai fini 12. La troisième manche, euh, j'aurais pu finir trois, mais j'ai fini quatre avec le meilleur temps de la, tour, euh, de la course. J'ai la grippe, les ongites, et je vais essayer de faire mon mieux le maximum possible. <coughs> je suis malade et je crois pas que je vais guérir jusqu'à demain comme c'est le dernier jour, mais, mais je vais faire mon mieux, Inch'Allah. A week later in nearby Oman, Suleiman was back in form and back on track in the Middle Eastern Championships. We are in Oman, on the basis of the first edition of this tournament. Today, it is a real dream. We have more than 15 countries in the MENA who are participating in this tournament. And the most important thing is some of the great names that have been given to the international level, such as the former Salman Salman Zanfari. وفي عدد ثاني من المرتبقين اللي هم وجودهم بعمان هذا شيء يعني مشجع جدا Abdo Fagali is a Red Bull factory driver a world famous superstar in the world of drifting 
يعني ما في منا احلى مسابقه هيك انه تصير تجمع كل البلدان العربيه من دول الشرق الاوسط ومن المغرب العربي كمان انه نتواصل نتواجد كلنا سوا بحلبه وحده لحتى نقدر نطلع ابطال من عنا من المنطقه FIA President Monsieur Jean Tot was also at Muscat Speedway to watch the race. De voir que tous ces pays euh, ont euh, des jeunes pilotes euh, qui sont extrêmement talentueux et qui viennent euh, développer leur euh, leur talent est pratiquement gratifiant pour euh, le président de la FIA. Le Maroc est extrêmement euh, présent en compétition automobile et j'espère effectivement que d'autres jeunes pilotes euh, arriveront euh, rapidement pour participer à euh, différents championnats de la FIA. At the green, Suleiman slotted into third place in the opening laps before going by into second, just missing the win but a podium in this prestigious race. كما شفتوا كان كان اختيار ديال المتسابقين في المستوى شاركوا في تقريبا في جميع الاصناف ديال الكارتينغ وحنا فرحانين بالموقع ديال المغرب كتاني دوله حصل في هذه النتيجه واللي برز كطاقه يعني يمكن الاعتماد عليها في هذا في هذا المجال ديال سباق السيارات Back again in Dubai, this time feeling 100%. And aboard the new Charles Leclerc cart, designed by the Ferrari Formula One driver. Là quand je suis partie de GT4, après je suis passée 3 à 2 et je m'ai été bagarré, j'ai gagné. An amazing race and amazing victory, winning the Dubai Open Championships. Grande, grande. Je ne m'attendais pas que j'allais performer comme ça parce que j'étais enrhumé. Les résultats officiels, ça, c'est moi le dame pour moi. Suleymane, je suis avec nous une fois de plus au Dubai Oplate. Le sénat de l'année dernière, nous n'avons pas eu le droit, mais le sénat de l'année dernière, nous sommes prêts à nous faire le plus grand événement. Je suis fier que Suleymane fasse le plus grand événement arabe. Et c'est ce qui est le plus important, alhamdulillah. Je suis fier d'avoir gagné le Dubai au Plate 2020 dx Junior. C'est une joie incroyable. Bichia, Allah, Allah, Al-Balik. So, what now? Welcome to Spain and the Grand Prix circuit of Valencia. Formula 4 single-seat open-wheel racer. 
essentially a scaled down junior version of a Grand Prix car. Now, a new challenge awaits.